Hello again everybody. Happy New Year to everybody. Um, this video is called How Many People in England and the United Kingdom are Unjabbed? There has been some, I've seen two videos now, where they have made claims that there are 20 to 25 people unjabbed in the UK. And I've also seen fact check comments saying that this is bad maths and you know it's false information but so what I thought I'd do is I'd look at the source of the information which is from the UK's health security agency's vaccine surveillance reports and work it out for myself to see exactly how many there are there are as we'll see later they have talked about there being 5 million adults or 6.1 million people that will be age 12 plus that are vaccinated so I want to see if that figure is correct so let's uh, move on anyway so this is the UK summary page you can find this here on the, this URL and at the moment this was well January the 1st it's saying 90% have had first dose this is age 12 plus 82.4 second dose and then it's talking about 59% with the uh, the booster or third dose okay so not getting into what vaccines do or don't do you probably know my opinion so this one is one that I took off on the 18th of November on a different video so this is 31 days prior to the January 1st data and basically um, it basically showed four out of five people aged 12 plus were fully vaccinated 80 percent so this um say is 31 days before this figure and you can see it's gone up basically two percent on each of these so what i'm going to look at is data on the 19th of december which i think is about 13 days before this date so clearly it's going to be reasonably close to this. If the difference only 2% here, and that was 31 days, a third of that time, then may have increased by, I don't know, 0.5 maximum in percentage. But bear in mind, the rates are slowing down with time. But let's move on. So this is to look at what has been said. We've had this creature here saying it's time to punish Britain's 5 million vaccine refuseniks. So oh, there you go. Irresponsible people, you need to be punished. And this one is saying that the UK, six point, in UK, 6.4 million yet to be jabbed. This is age 12 plus. And this creature here, this horrible little, well, it, it's, all, it's almost, most of these characters are like uh, bad men from movies, aren't they, at the moment? They, obviously actors playing a part and uh, so this guy's Sajid Javid or Savage Jabbit as I like to call him um, and he's basically saying that uh, well vilifying all the five million people or ten percent of the eligible population so they're basically saying there's five million people who are not vaccinated in this so that's far from the claims from some of the videos I've seen where they say there's 25 million or 20 million. So let's take a look at what this guy said. It's about, let's say around 10% of the population that remain unvaccinated. And we know in hospital, when you look at hospitalizations, they make up a disproportionate amount of, of, of those you know, that are severely ill. In fact, if we look at those that are the, the most ill in hospital, needing the most care and attention, around nine out of 10 of them are unvaccinated. If I can say, Trevor, because this is really important. I think issue, that's probably a lie. If people have had over a year, almost a year now, to get vaccinated. Yeah. There's still 10% of our population that have chosen for whatever reason not to get vaccinated. We're it, talking I, five I, million I, adults yeah, plus. Yeah, five million plus. And, and I just five cannot emphasise enough the impact that they are having on the Bollocks. rest of society. They must really think about the damage they are doing to society. Huh. They take up hospital <laughs> that could have been used for someone You've with got a, laugh, a heart problem <laughs> or uh, maybe someone who's waiting for an electricity. Oh, yeah. But 
But you've not done anything, have you? You guys, you've not done anything to damage society. Pot calling the kettle black. Positive thing to do, not just for yourself, for your loved ones, but for your community. Yeah, do it for your community. Dear me, what a piece of shit that guy is, huh? Yeah, savage jabbit. Okay, so there you go. They're telling you there's five million people. And, uh, of course, those five million people, t <laughs> this again is just, I'll talk about this later, but COVID jab teams could go door to door to homes of the unvaccinated in low uptake areas. So they're not saying it's going to every home. I just would really, really want them. Please come to my door. Please, please, please come to my door. That would be so much fun. But let's have a look at the where we can find some information. So this is the UK Health Security Agency's vaccine surveillance report. And I'm looking at the latest one I could get, which is week 51. That was the latest yesterday. I don't know if it's uh, the same now. And it basically covers vaccination data up to the 19th of December. So I showed you the January 1st off the government um, dashboard on their coronavirus data web web page um, and that was obviously uh, a number of days 13 or 14 days i think it's 13 after this data but it won't have gone up much as you'll see from the graphs so this is where you can get that data from and uh, here is the week 51 report and if you want to go and find them yourself and look it up yourself you can download the pdfs of those reports and do what you like with them but as i've said in many of the other videos the data always appears to match the narrative and i believe to a major extent that narrative is the driver but where the data conflicts with the narrative i will cover it but i'm kind of giving you an inkling that it does conflict already so this is uh, figure seven and this is cumulative weekly vaccine uptake by age and this is dose one. So you can see these are the age ranges. So these are all color coded. And it tends to be the oldest are the biggest uptake. They were given it first and more of them take them than anything. And as you go down, you can see all the color codes for age. You see basically that these are going up and they're starting to plateau off. But from this, you can get cumulative up to the 19th of december what the percent vaccination rate is for each of these age ranges now i have painstakingly gone through and worked out where all these points are and worked out the percentages for each of those age ranges and this is for the second dose, so these are two dose data. I'm not getting into the booster, that's far too complicated. But uh, you can see here, again, the same applies. And I've gone for the second dose all the way through these age ranges and worked out the percent vaccination. Now, this data is no good without having information to what the population density is for each of these age ranges. And these tend to be in five years so 30 year olds to under 35s um, and so on for example now in statistica this is 2009 data it gives you the breakdown for every five year age range of how many million how many million people in the uk fit in those age ranges and you will see right the way up to something like 60 to 64 each one is populated with around 4 million people. And then as the ages get, oh, as people get older, more people die off and you have less people in those age groups. So this is the United Kingdom. And this data here shows you the population mid 2019 for the United Kingdom, which was basically 68, 66.8 million and for England 56.3 so from this data I can work out now the data for each 
of these age ranges we're talking about for England by changing from this figure to this figure or this figure to this figure by just multiplying by the population ratio. So this is for the 19th to the 19th December and this is dose one and this is data taken from the chart that I just showed you the, fi the figure seven uh, I think it's part A oh it is figure seven A here we go and this is the data for these age ranges that I've taken off that graph now here we've got 12 to under 16 16 to under 18 18 to under 20s and these match the age ranges on those graphs so where we've got 20 to under 25 and 25 to under 30 that's fairly easy I can take that straight off that graph unfortunately when we've got like 12 to under 16s we've got 12 13 14 15 we've got four years we've only got 16 and 17 here so we've only got two years and then 18 19 here so two years so what I've had to do is look at the population in terms of these type of age groups and then work it out based on the number of years we're looking at so it's fairly easy to do so 12 to under 16 is basically 3.2 million and then for the two year ones it's 1.4 and 1.4 and then we're into the data straight off that Statistica chart I showed you earlier so this is the UK population and you'll see that in these age ranges it goes to 57.2 million but there is naught to under 12s which aren't considered for vaccination in the UK so that is there's 9.6 million there giving a total in the UK of the 66.8 we saw earlier now what I've done here is taken these this data and I've multiplied by the ratio of population of, of uh, England to the UK so I've multiplied by 60 56.3 divided by 66.8 to give the breakdown of the population now maybe I should have gone to two or three significant figures here but I'll just put the calculation in so we can see of the England bear in mind the reason I'm talking about England is the health security agency's vaccine surveillance reports only covers England so I need to relate it to the target vaccinated group so here we've got 48.2 million of them so if we then look at the vaccination rate and we multiply by this we can get the total vaccinated with one dose in England and you can see all these figures here and it adds up to 38 million and 143,000 basically and we can also work out the total unvaccinated by uh, taking the one from the other and there we've got those figures so here we've got basically 38.1 million out of 48.2 eligible population which gives us a 79.1 vaccination rate and the total unvaccinated in England is 10 million it's basically uh, this figure here minus this it's 10 million people now if we look at how much that is in the UK we multiply this by the population ratio and we've got basically 11.9 million people that's 12 plus nearly 12 million okay that's 12 plus if we want to look at adults adults in England so basically for the adults in England we have to leave this data out and take the 18 plus data so all I've done is added up basically the total amount from uh, 18 to 20 down to 80 plus and if we look at that we've got 8.2 million adults so this isn't 5 million this is 8.2 in the England but in the UK in adults it's 9.7 million so it looks like I mean this data is pretty accurate as far as I can see I don't think I've done any bad maths here that basically they are lying about 
the vaccination rate because there are nearly 10 million adults in the UK. Now that's a lot of people. That's certainly way too much to go door to door to try and vaccinate them. So that's clearly an idle threat. So if we compare this to the 1st of January 2022, we've got 82.4% quoted as second dose, 90% as first dose. Okay, so 90% is actually 79.1%. Okay, so there you go. Um, I'm taking, obviously this is UK, but what I'm assuming is it's a similar rate across the UK, but there's a 10 or 11% discrepancy there. And that's why when they're talking about 5 million, they are <laughs> talking basically based on this figure, which I don't believe is correct. Okay, so there isn't 20 million. There are more like 12 million people who are not vaccinated in the UK of those 9.7 of them million of them are 18 plus adults basically so percent unvaccinated in week 51 is 21 percent that's the true figure okay now if you look at that in terms of the population what I've done is I've just plotted those figures the vaccinated is in red with one dose and the unvaccinated is in green now this is lower because this is just a two-year one but you can see you know when we're talking about age ranges 25 to 30s 30 to 35 nearly you know there's there's it's two to two to one ratio yeah so it's significant number I think this is quite nice to see to be honest it's quite uh, heartwarming to see that there are quite a lot of people out there that are not taking this jab and this goes against all the narrative that we get so this one here is the 19th of December and this is two doses okay so this is two doses these are the percentages from the graph and this is the total vaccinated in England double dose and this is the total that includes unvaccinated and people that have only had one dose so in terms of two doses we've got 35.2 million people who are not vaccinated in England and total unvaccinated and one dose only in England is 13 million um, percent vaccinated with two doses in England is 73 percent so you remember this figure here uh, this is 13 days after December the 21st data but look at the figure here they're quoting 82.4 and this is 73 so again you know nine nine and a half percent difference and interestingly, when you look at the data, the total adults with zero and a single dose is 9.6 million. And the total estimated with zero doses or one dose is 11.4 million people. And the total adults in England with just a single dose we can work out by looking at the single dose data is 1.4 million. So there are 1.4 million who've had a single dose and not had the second dose. And the estimated total adults in the UK with just a single dose is 1.7 million people. And here are the age groups plotted. Now, the reason I try and ex don't talk too much about the 12s to under 16s is originally they were only meant to have one dose. So hence, there's a lot that haven't received a second dose, but I'm sure there'll be pressure to put a second dose into these people. But there you can see a similar graph as before. It's obviously higher now in the greens because these include the unvaccinated and the single dose only people so let's have a look at a summary for the data up to the 19th of December there seems to be a significant discrepancy between the UK government's CV19 daily summary page 
and the UK Health Security Agency vaccine surveillance reports. It's 10, 11% difference, basically. The number of unvaccinated people, there were 12 plus in England, is 10.1 million. And basically, if you multiply that by the ratio of population, it's nearly 12 million people in the UK. That's 12 plus. The number of unvaccinated adults in England is 8.2 million. And you pro rata that up to the UK population, it's 9.7 million. Not the five that they're talking about. And the number of adults with just a single dose in England is 1.2 million. And that would be 1.7 million estimated for the UK. And they're going to need an enormous resource to go door to door. And as I said, please, please, please come to my door. It's basically an empty threat to, again, coerce people to take the jab. And there are at least twice as many unvaccinated out there than they would like you to believe. So I take some comfort in seeing these figures. But as you see, please feel free to check fact checkers to check my data because I can't find any more accurate data anywhere in terms of the Statistica data and the Health Security Agency. So if you want to tell me where I've gone wrong, where the bad maths is, please feel free to do so. And of course, we've got to have our COVID police there, haven't we, with our, our Boris. Yeah. Disgusting mess, oh dear me. <laughs> and uh, what is the, this is just the final slide I sneaked in, we've got to worry about now. What's the final thing? Well, it's probably not the final thing, there's many more things to come but we've got fluorona could be the next infection that packs a double punch it's basically a twin demic it's a it's a flu and covid19 all bunched together to be particular and nasty and it's interesting that one of the symptoms i've seen of this is myocarditis which is one of the so-called side effects of the vaccine draw into that whatever conclusion you would wish to but uh, of course fluorona and i didn't need to even look this up because i knew it was going to be 33 and of course in pythagorean numerology or otherwise known as english full reduction it is 33 for masonry so that's all i've got to say for now so thank you for watching thank you for listening and goodbye